Pancake everyone! I bet you never suspected while sitting on the shores of the lake with your tents on a warm summer evening that right now a new life is maturing beneath your skin, which will soon become the starting point for the treatment of a severe infection. Today we will tell you more about this alarming neighbor and other dangerous and even deadly insects. Let's dive in! The giant Asian hornet, a killer. Among all Asian insects, the Vespa mandarinia hornet is one of the most famous. It's not surprising, given its enormous size that makes it extremely noticeable. A massive wasp measuring 5 cm in body length and with a wingspan of 6 to 7 cm naturally attracts the attention of tourists and travelers. That's why in Asian countries this insect is also called the sparrow bee, due to its impressive size. Moreover, the Asian giant hornet is a menace to all honeybees, causing significant losses for beekeepers in Thailand, India and Japan. To obtain food, hornets rarely use their venomous stings. They kill other insects with their powerful jaws, literally crushing the chitinous exoskeletons of their prey. The Asian giant hornet is highly venomous, with its venom considered one of the most toxic among all insects. Each year in Japan, around 40 people die from hornet stings. Thus, this hornet set a kind of anti-record, surpassing any other wild animal in terms of such statistics. The CC fly Africa is a magnificent continent, full of astonishing surprises, wonders and natural horrors. Killer hippos, vengeful elephants, man-eating crocodiles and other creatures that crave the taste of flesh. But among all these well-known alpha predators, there's a little fly called the CC fly, which kills more people than all the aforementioned comrades combined. At first glance, this cunning creature doesn't look like a monster at all. A great hairy body measuring a centimeter long, transparent wings, reddish eyes, but take a closer look and you'll notice the insect's deadly weapon, a sharp proboscis that protrudes forward like a sword. With this blade of vengeance, the fly obtains its food by biting anything in its path. It carries death to the innocent. More often than not, the CC fly's victims are large animals. These bothersome creatures attack everyone, from rodents to lion kings. However, there is another side to the coin. For centuries, CC flies have protected numerous unique natural ecosystems from human invasion, safeguarding them from anthropological degradation and destruction. Could it be that CC flies are not ruthless killers but the golden guard of the black continent, standing as defenders of biodiversity? Who knows? Spitting thick-tailed black scorpion Scorpions are among the most ancient inhabitants of our planet, belonging to the class of arachnids. Most people know little about them. They evoke dislike and even fear. A scorpion is capable of controlling the amount of venom it releases. It only expels a full dose for self-defense. The thick-tailed black scorpion can spit venom up to a distance of one meter. Its effectiveness is compared to cyanide. It suppresses oxygen uptake, leading to possible asphyxiation. At the side of the sting, intense pain, redness and swelling occur, as well as disruptions in heart function, internal bleeding, visual impairments and breathing problems. Death primarily occurs due to respiratory arrest, heart failure, and shock. With timely medical assistance, the body typically recovers from a scorpion sting within an average of 7 to 10 days. Lonomia caterpillar It's called the lazy clown, but it's unlikely to make anyone laugh if touched by its spines. And it's definitely no laughing matter when even a light touch triggers internal bleeding and other dangerous reactions in humans. Meet Lonomia obliqua, or simply the Lonomia, the most dangerous caterpillar in the world. The lazy clown enjoys warmth, which is why it is most commonly found in the forests of Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay and Argentina. The most unpleasant thing is that the caterpillar disguises itself so skillfully that it is impossible to notice it immediately. That's why many people accidentally touch the tree or foliage, completely unaware of the unpleasant surprise lurking there. Moreover, these caterpillars live in colonies, so one can encounter multiple lonomia simultaneously. There have been cases where lonomias while on leaves fall down, and if there happens to be a person under the tree, touching the caterpillar is inevitable. And that is the greatest danger, as it contains an extremely powerful toxin. Why can an encounter with the lonomia have disastrous consequences? It all comes down to the growths resembling pine branches with spines on the body of this creature. It is through them that the dangerous venom enters the human bloodstream. Of course, nature ensured the survival of this caterpillar in its natural habitat, and it probably did not intend to turn the lazy clown into a tiny killer, but nevertheless it happened. Indian Red Scorpions There are around 1,500 species of scorpions, 
of which only a few dozen are venomous. The Indian red scorpion is the deadliest of them all, with up to 40% of its stung victims dying. The scorpion poses a significant problem, particularly in India, Sri Lanka and Nepal, as it is often found near human dwellings, where barefoot children play. Scorpions are shy nocturnal arachnids that sting when they sense a threat. Indian red scorpion Despite measuring less than 8 cm in length, the Indian red scorpion produces a potent venom that causes intense pain, vomiting, sweating, shortness of breath, and alternating high and low blood pressure and heart rate. The venom affects the respiratory system and the heart and can lead to death from lung edema. Antivenom is practically powerless, although it has been found that the blood pressure medication Prazosin reduces mortality to 4%. Despite the danger they pose, Indian red scorpions are often kept as pets in India, perhaps because, like most scorpions, they fluoresce under black light. Black Widow How did this seemingly harmless creature get such a bright and frightening name? It's all due to the cunning of the female black widow spider. Scientists believe she does this due to a lack of protein, which she needs when laying eggs. In any case, this sad scenario always occurs in laboratory conditions, where the male cannot escape from the female. In nature, males sometimes manage to approach cautiously, fertilize the female and remain alive. It is fascinating to observe the dance of the male black widow. He tries to perform an extravagant spider dance to let the female know that he is not food but her partner. Cannibalism pursues the black widow from the very beginning of life. Out of the thousands of eggs laid by the female, only a few manage to survive. All the others are consumed by their own kind as embryos. Black widow bites are dangerous. They cause a painful condition known as electrodectism. An hour after the bite, a neurotoxin called alpha electrotoxin spreads through the victim's lymphatic system. Extremely painful abdominal muscle cramps occur. Vomiting, profuse sweating and thirst are possible. However, with proper treatment, the illness usually ends in complete recovery. The Megalopagy Caterpillar The Megalopagy opercularis, also known as the flannel moss caterpillar, is a moss caterpillar from the Megalopagidae family. It is called the flannel caterpillar due to the dense short hairs covering the body of the adult individual, which have a flannel-like texture. As they mature, they take on a disheveled and matted appearance, resembling rosette sea pigs. In this heightened fuzziness, the visibility of the tail disappears. Some pranksters also occasionally compare caterpillars of this species to the hairstyle of the well-known American politician Donald Trump. So the fur itself is not dangerous. It consists of bristles that resemble hair, and upon closer inspection they resemble pine branches. However, underneath the fur are hollow spines filled with venom. Because of them, the flannel moss caterpillar is considered one of the most venomous caterpillars in North America. Its body is covered in warts, glandular growths on the skin that contain venomous glands. The warts are adorned with spines. When in contact with human skin, the tip of the spine pierces it and breaks off, allowing the venom to enter beneath the skin. There is a video on the channel about the most dangerous dog breeds. The link is in the description. The sight of the bite becomes red, warm and very painful. Some victims compare the pain to that of a fracture, while others compare it to the pain of a burn or being hit by a hammer. Yellow Scorpion The yellow scorpion is another highly venomous scorpion found from North Africa to the Middle East and Central Asia. One sting is unlikely to kill a healthy adult, but it can be deadly for children, who would require a significant amount of antivenom in such cases. Doctors who rarely deal with scorpion and snake bites often make the mistake of assuming that children require less antivenom because they have a smaller body mass. In reality, children require much more due to the higher ratio of venom to body mass compared to adults. The venom of the yellow scorpion is a mixture of four potent neurotoxins that can cause heart failure. In 2010, Air Force Staff Sergeant Monique Monroe Harris was stung by a yellow scorpion in Kirkuk, Iraq and was subsequently sent to an airbase in Ballad and then to Germany. Her blood pressure dropped nearly to zero several times during the flight before she was administered antivenom. Her call sign is now Queen of Scorpions. The venom of the yellow scorpion is also known for being most expensive liquid in the world, with a cost of $39 million per gallon, approximately 3.8 liters. The reason for its high price is the difficulty in obtaining it. To harvest a gallon of venom, approximately 2.64 million scorpions need to be milked. Another reason for its high cost is its demonstrated effectiveness in treating brain cancer, arthritis and bone diseases. Ticks 
tigs are not only quite unpleasant and dangerous creatures, but they are also among the oldest representatives of the animal world on our planet. They existed long before the first dinosaurs appeared and have comfortably survived these giant reptiles to this day. Many mistakenly believe that ticks are insects, but that is not the case. They belong to the arachnid order. Ticks not only lack wings but also eyes. However, this is not a problem for them. Despite not having eyes, ticks navigate perfectly in space using a developed sensory apparatus. Interestingly, thanks to this apparatus they can detect the scent of their potential prey from a distance of up to 10 meters. Tick bites are highly dangerous, as they can transmit various diseases, especially encephalitis. Despite their unpretentiousness in food, they can be incredibly voracious and sometimes increase their weight up to 120 times. Fortunately, ticks have natural enemies that feed on them, thereby benefiting the potential victims of these parasites. Natural enemies of ticks in nature include ants, some lizards and birds, spiders, frogs, wasps and dragonflies. Centipedes Centipedes are not the most pleasant creatures and no one is immune to encountering them. Many species of these arthropods are venomous, and some have adapted to living very close to us, even in apartments. Depending on the species and age, a centipede bite can have various consequences for humans, including fatal outcomes. Females are generally more venomous than males. Centipedes that inhabit Crimea, particularly in Tarhankut, can deliver a very painful sting. A 13-centimeter centipede crawled into my sneaker on Cape Sarich, said local resident Alexander. I instantly took off my shoe without untying the laces due to the pain. Compared to a centipede bite, a bee sting is like a mosquito bite compared to a wasp sting. I had a high fever for two days. When attacking their prey, centipedes coil around it and wait for the venom to take effect before they begin to feast. However, centipedes also have enemies ready to feast on them. Snakes in particular hunt them, but it is better for cats and rats, which also eat centipedes at the first opportunity, to refrain from doing so. The reason is that centipedes always harbor parasites inside them that are dangerous to these animals. Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider is a deadly venomous spider that can be accidentally purchased along with a bunch of bananas, although the chances are extremely low. We often write about creepy and dangerous animals. However, only a few of us will encounter them in real life. Not many readers of these texts will have the opportunity to stroll through the central regions of Mongolia, taste Arctic snow, or spend time with indigenous people in the remote South American jungles. But the Brazilian wandering spider doesn't care about that. One of the most venomous arthropods on the planet will find its way to you. This predator has managed to gather a complete set of unpleasant qualities for humans. Firstly, it is simply huge. The body length of an average female approaches 5 cm, and the leg span can reach up to 18 in total. Moreover, the wandering spider loves to wander, so much so that it can move from its native Brazilian forest to another continent. Typically, this eight-legged creature crawls through tropical forests, but it feels perfectly at home in cities and agricultural lands. Interestingly, the spider seems to have a particular affinity for banana plantations. Malaria Mosquito we are all familiar with the unpleasant buzzing of mosquitoes, which prompts people to wave their hands, trying to ward off the annoying insects. But that doesn't always get rid of the blood suckers. A bite from a regular mosquito causes swelling in a healthy person, which usually subsides on its own over time. However, the consequences of a bite from an infected malaria mosquito are not limited to a mere bump. So what is this insect that brings trouble to its victims? Scientists from various fields are working on studying the diseases transmitted by malaria mosquitoes. The most widespread one is malaria. In African countries, it claims over a million children's lives annually. The main carriers of tropical malaria are the female mosquitoes of the Anopheles gambi species. The second largest group of diseases caused by these mosquitoes involves a high number of filarial worms. By sucking the blood of an infected individual, the mosquito ingests the worms through its mouth and then transfers them to healthy individuals. As a result, these worms clog blood vessels, form blood clots, and contribute to accumulation of lymph in the arms or legs, causing them to swell to enormous sizes, a condition known as elephantiasis. Rat fleas Rat fleas are parasites that live on rodents that are the main carriers of bubonic plague. They also serve as hosts for tapeworms, which transmit life-threatening diseases to humans through their eggs. Bloodsuckers cannot stay on the host's body all the time. The rat acts as a dining room where the parasites come to feed. Once satiated, the fleet jumps off the rodent and returns to its permanent habitat. 
Most often, the bloodsuckers settle in rat nests to have constant access to their host's body. These parasites can feed not only on rat blood, humans and pets also become victims of rat fleas, and their bites are particularly painful. Unlike their relatives, rat parasites do not release an anesthetic enzyme. Rat fleas actively spread dangerous diseases, such as salmonellosis, red bite fever, brucellosis, tularemia, encephalitis, Siberian plague and bubonic plague. It was the rat fleas that became the main culprits of the plague epidemic, which reduced Europe's population by a third in the Middle Ages. A bite from a rat flea is like playing Russian roulette. The main question remains, will it transmit something or not? Human botfly. Do you still remember the summer camping trips and the ripening life under the skin? The human botfly lays larvae that can be life-threatening for humans. The larva of the botfly, also known as torsula or New World screwworm, can be transmitted by mosquitoes and ticks. When a mosquito carrying botfly larva lands on the skin, it drops the larva and leaves. After a few days, the larva develop under the skin and can cause serious infection if not promptly removed. The presence of botfly larvae in humans is a parasitic phenomenon that causes significant disruptions in the body's functions. The most common consequences include abscesses, tissue necrosis, inflammation of the skin, disruption of vital systems, and intoxication. Argiope spider. The Argiope spider is a large venomous spider with females reaching a length of 3 cm. It is found worldwide except in polar regions. Female Argiope spiders have a distinct black and yellow coloration of their bodies, with a black head and long legs. Males are much smaller, measuring no more than 5 mm and have a more modest appearance. Many people wonder if the Argiope spider is venomous or not. It is indeed venomous, as its venom is used to kill its prey. However, in most cases, this venom is practically harmless to humans. The consequences of careless handling of the spider and testing its reaction speed can vary. Most adults experience slight swelling of the skin around the bite area, which disappears within an hour or two, and doesn't even itch. In some cases, redness and swelling may persist for up to a day, and the bite site may itch intensely. Traveling in unfamiliar territory. How can you walk and sleep knowing that you are never truly alone? In reality, when living in a specific region, we are aware of precautionary measures. When traveling to other regions, it is important to research the local flora and the medications that could be useful to have with you. Thank you all for watching us. Be attentive to your life and kind to the people around you. Subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.